Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to convert a DWG file into a 3D SOLIDWORKS drawing file. So you can open up your DWG in SOLIDWORKS. You'll be asked uh, what do you want to do with it, so in this case I'm just going to select the import to a new part option, select the 2D sketch option and deselect that reference option. On the next page it's going to show you the different layers. I was unlucky and mine had everything on one layer. You can also include dimensions. I'm just going to leave everything as is. And then you can click Next, remove some of these, uh, like this border here, um, and then just click Finish. Now, I've already done some of that. I deleted the border beforehand. Um, so first step you're going to do is make sure you have this 2D to 3D toolbar. If you don't, just right-click up here, go to Toolbars, and select 2D to 3D. It might appear here on the left-hand side like that. Um, I usually just drag mine out. Uh, select the repair sketch option and it's going to show you where there are any gaps, any problems with your sketches. Um, if I zoom in here, you can see there's a gap between those two. So I'm just going to drag this bottom one up to the top one and there we go. So you can just refresh that, no more problems. Okay, and now we're happy. So select the front view and then you select the add to front sketch option. Do the same with the top, so add to top sketch and the right hand side, add to right side sketch. You can exit your sketches, select the front sketch view and select the convert to extrusion option. You want your end condition to be set up to vertex and just select that back vertex there. Uh, do the same with the side view, so convert to extrusion, deselect the merge option. In your contour select, select all three contours. And for your end condition, just select up to vertex again and select that vertex over there. Now you can use any end condition, you just want them to completely uh, cross over with one another. So select your last sketch, convert it, uh, select all the contours, Deselect the merge again, and in this case I'm going to use up to surface and just select the bottom surface there. Okay, so I have three bodies now. What you want to do is run the combine command. Combine. Ooh, spelling not the best today. Combine. Select all three bodies and make sure it's set to the common option. And then it combines them into three bodies over there. Now you want to be careful and just make sure everything is as is. So if I go back to my base sketch, just show that, you'll see this is actually meant to be circular. So I can fix that. Just put a sketch on that face, convert entities of that line, and then do an extrude cut. You can do the extrude cut from over here or just select the sketch and use the uh, convert to cut option in the toolbar. Our starting condition will be this face here. Our end condition will be this face. Uh, end condition will be the face over here. And it's going to cut away the center part, but we want it to cut away the outside part. So just flip side to cut. Select OK. And there we have our part. And that is how you convert a 2D DWG into a 3D SOLIDWORKS part.